you guys had last week. Um, you called it an informational gathering meeting. Yes. My name is Kevin Dare, 6187 Route 88. It was an informational <sighs> meeting. Right. You, I was had no, you had no decisions. Nope. It was a, we brought him in with the two fire departments to get some information on the process going forward. Why we were getting the calls and letters, and the letters from the insurance, insurance companies. companies. Okay. So this meeting that we're having tonight, how did this come about? And why did it come about? <coughs> the chairman has the ability to call, call a special meeting. Based why? on the information that was gathered. Based on the information that was gathered, you decided to call a meeting, and each one of these people agreed to be here. It's not a bias and such. I have it all the time. You call People, when they call special meetings, it's called by the chairman. And the chairman calls a special meeting, and they set it up for people, people's schedule. That happens all the time. The secretary then reaches no, out to the... So, so a decision was made to have this meeting tonight based on that meeting and that informational gathering. The chairman called a special meeting, okay, and that's it. Based on that information. I don't know. I have no idea why it was called, but the chairman called a special meeting. <laughs> based on further, phone, call, based well, on further well, phone calls with Washington <laughs> County, based what? on further phone calls with PAWC, based on a lot of stuff, I requested a special meeting. Do you think that maybe you should have had the public at that informational meeting? Huh? Why, why don't you believe that that would have been important to have the public here at that <laughs> At that meeting, you, you, you say your concern about the knew public about and the house sales yeah. and the, the insurance, uh, high insurance bills that they're getting. Why would you not be transparent enough to have an informational gathering meeting to have all those people come in and get the same information that you guys got from that meeting that led you to, to have an emergency meeting tonight? Why would you not do that? We needed to be educated, and Mr. Olson provided a lot of insight as far as the rating system is concerned. His, his, uh, his insight into the improvement process it was a general discussion, and he did probably 80% of the conversation. And then he went aside in an attempt to get El Rama up to where they need to be, or I guess down to where they need to be. And he had a conversation with Mr. Bailey, and subsequently that meeting on March 6th, I think, Kevin, is the uh, date, uh, to try to improve the situation down there. But you would agree, Larry. And you're, you're a reasonable man. I know Sometimes. That. You would agree that it probably would have helped some of these people in the public to more understand the issues that were going on from, from Mr. Olson. Um, from his mouth. I think it would be like any meeting. We probably wouldn't have accomplished anything. And what, what ended up being accomplished was it was insight into the process, our deficiencies, and it ended up being a positive thing because he's going to take the time and come out and try to improve El Rama, which subsequently could be the answer to the situation that we're back here babbling about. I see here you, you've attached some emails to the, um, uh, to the agenda to, or to the resolution. The first one was 8 12 of 2020 from Mr. Olson. Is that correct, uh, Ms. Dupree? I don't know what you're reading. Is it correct? You're reading it. I guess it's correct. So so I'm reading I'm, I'm reading I'm reading an email from Mr. Olson in 2020. So so during that time, we could all agree that that was in the heart of COVID. Heart of COVID. We removed. Michelle, that was the day we removed a felon from the board. August 12th. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, let's. Okay. I, have, I have a public comment. Please then say it. Why are you asking like okay. it's a witness about, stand yep. then? Mr. Dare, you have another minute. Say your go comment. Ahead. Okay, let's go. The next thing talk. is we, we have another email from 818 of 2022. Uh, are, you, are you trying to tell everyone here that Mr. Olson stopped trying to reach out to Union Township after 8, 
18 of 2022. Maybe he reached out to another board member. I don't know. That's from the secretary's email addresses. Maybe so, he so talked to the chairman too. You've been a supervisor since January 2022. Yes. So, so this is, you were here when all this was going on. I was here when they were contacting the secretary and the chairman, yes. You were here. When they were contacting the secretary and all the right, chairman, okay. yes. As, as a result, as, as a result, she on the witness stand. Uh, you were here, witness. and we know this because of some of the activity that happened during that time. All right. Yes, yeah, some of the activity, like the it, fire hydrants. Not being okay, Mr. Mayor, and that's a very good. That's a very good point, Michelle. Last oh, year, boy. you sat at this board table. Four minutes is up. Yeah. My four, four minutes, minutes are up, up but it's this up. woman keeps bringing up. Information that needs to be. But you know, you have four minutes of public participation. I'm sorry. She sat here. He got Listen, six minutes. I'm, 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 I'm saying what I have to say. No, you're, you're, you're done. Okay. Right now. okay. This woman sat here. She interrupted him. So this no, woman no, sat no, here no, last year no, as the chairman of the board. No. And she said, We are late on our hydrant bills. That the same bills that were late in 2022 right. that she made a big deal about. Year. She sat year here last before. year and she told Larry Spar, Mr. Dare, Linda Evans, your Steve Parrish, Kevin, we're in the weeds. Kevin, Mr. Dare, you're done. All right. We're it's, late on our fire hydrant. No, okay. She we said didn't it. Say oh, that. Mr. Dare, you're done. That was okay. not said. Mr. Barney, you're up next. I said we paid $8,000 in excess fire hydrant late fees. Okay. Not that we were late at the time. All right. We we have it. Okay, we have Mr. It. Mr. Dare. And thank you to Mr. Piglisi for putting it up. All right. But we have it. Mr. Dare, you're done. Okay, Mr. Barney, you got four minutes. It's 7:13. Go ahead. 